I would say do not miss this because I don't get to Alaska often. It's been years since I've been there, and I'm so excited about this. This has been in the planning for nearly three years. Um, I don't do the same program twice. I know we're going to show my award-winning documentary. Um, that tells the stories of Matthew Shepard, James Burr Jr., the students at Columbine High School. And depending who's on the audience, you know, it's about me listening to what they need for their life. If we have parents, parents, this is going to be amazing. We have, for instance, I have 20 of the top signs of bullying. Uh, that you need to know about in terms of your child because so many of our children are being bullied or cyber bullied and they're not telling mom and dad and I'll, I'll give you a, I'll give you one of the reasons why they're not one of the reasons why they're not telling mom and dad is because our children right now are so intuitive with the world and one of the top 20 signs is that you know they've lost communication with mom and dad. If all of a sudden your child is not talking to you as often as they used to, that could be a sign of bullying. Well, why? They, the child does not want the parent to be burdened. The child knows that mom and dad are going through so much stuff right now, whether it be the economy, jobs, so on and so forth, that, that they don't want to tell them because they don't want to burden them. And so I always... You know, one of the things for parents that we're going to do, if we have a fair amount of parents, is um, teach them how to recognize the signs of bullying. Uh, recognize uh, different resources and tools on how to communicate with your child. Because a lot of ways that parents are communicating with children is so rushed because we're in such a frenetic society. So there's some key words I'm going to teach parents uh, in regards to communicating with their child that's going to get them a lot more answers, uh, more so than if they've been doing it the way they've been doing it. You know, for my young people, I give them permission to tell me about their life. I think what's so important for our middle school, high school, and college and university students is that very rarely do we as a society sit down with them, shut our mouths, and say, walk us around your block. Tell us what's going on. You know, so many of us as teachers and counselors and mentors and so on and so forth, we just want to impart information. We want to tell them how to go about doing it. And I have a different you know, perspective. You know, I'll share a little bit of me, but then I'll say, okay, tell me a little bit about you. Most young people say, wow, you're the first person that's given me permission to talk about my life. When we give students permission to talk about their lives without judgment, and that's another key thing, then all of a sudden they start talking about, you know, the challenges and what's going on in our lives. And then when we know the problem, we can create some solutions.